I don't know. Next time, try not to make it so 
dramatic by being so fucking slow. Also, thank you. My pleasure. Just don't forget about me. I mean, us. Don't worry, we'll send help as soon as we get out of the city. I didn't have extra fuel anywhere. Well, now I'm in this. This makes it a lot easier. Instead of in the middle of the ocean. I'll miss you, you cranky motherfucker. I'm sorry, Floyd. I just wish I could have saved him. Best thing you can do is keep being yourself. Keep that swagger going. Cool? Yeah. Hey, Walter talked about this guy. Named Brill Cream. Says he was the smartest guy around. You find that guy, I bet he'll figure out how to escape the city. Brill Cream? What kind of a name is that? One that's easy to remember, I guess. Anyway, Walter said there was ham radio signals coming from a Japanese museum nearby. Might be him. You should check it out. This is where I'm gonna wrap up. Sunset Overdrive. Hey, I think Walter and I ended up together. I just assumed you were twin brothers. So many similarities. We met at a party. Or was it the DMV? I can't remember. Anyway, one thing I do remember is Walter didn't judge me for how I looked, how I talked, how I dressed. He told me, don't judge people, judge their actions. He was he kind of a zen motherfucker that way, and I loved him for it. He and I talked about you a lot. Uh-oh, my character moment sense is tingling. There's something special about you. But it's buried beneath a whole lot of wise ass. Gee, thanks for the revelation, Freud. Damn it, I just proved your point, didn't I? Like I said, man, I don't judge people, just their actions. My point is, don't let you out. Did you just cook up a philosopher amp or something? Right. I know because I am too had Jack. Alright, well, so this is where I'm gonna wrap up this episode at now that Floyd finished saying what he was gonna say. And I will see you next time on whatever I decide to record.